GW3. Can you believe it? We got a celebrity in a society. Welcome everyone to Family Talk Fridays. Thank you so much for being here, taking your time to come and learn something new, right? Because this platform is to teach. We are here to teach and share our journeys with others because when we share our journeys, we can impact somebody else's life. Somebody else can be going through the same journey and need some understanding and compassion. So we are here to give all that. Thank you so much. Um, we have a special guest today, but before we get started, I want to introduce our co-host, Renee Nor, the founder and CEO of um, Global Women Wealth Warriors. She woke up at 3 a.m. with the title Global Women Wealth Warriors. Woo -hoo, Renee, thank you so much for being here. Janet, how are you? Doing? I can't hear you. I'm it's all mute. Great. Oh my goodness. I am doing so great. I'm so excited to be here. This is like my what maybe once or twice we're coming on board with the family talk fridays and i want to go live also janet we're going to go live on instagram is that right also that's right we are going you live look on incredible. instagram I gotta <laughs> say that you look incredible this is our first time renee going on live on facebook youtube and instagram and our special guest is on instagram so I'm so excited to move over to that platform. But before we get that party started, let's introduce our second co-host, uh, Tanya from the DMV. Yes. Yes, oh. Tanya. Welcome. Hey. Hi, ladies. Oh my How goodness. are you? Welcome to Family Talk Friday. I'm Tanya, a proud cheer person for Global Wealth Warriors. We're in for an exciting month because we're honoring our thrivers. Get excited, everyone. Woo we're honoring our thrivers. Yes. All right. So are you guys ready for your IG live? Yes, I've got mine on, Janet. Yes, really? yes, yes, I do. And this time, I took it. I took it through the I am Renee Nor, but I'm gonna also bust open the one in the Global Women Wealth Warriors as well because we have so many more followers there. Look at Miss Jackie. She said yes. Oh my goodness. So can you see me, Janet? Can you see me, um, Tanya? Can you see us on live right now? I see you live. Yes. Come on now. Oh my, there you go, Miss Janet Alvarado. I see you. And let's go ahead on and invite you to go live. I see Miss VB. And we're in the clubhouse as well. So if you're in the clubhouse, go ahead and put some hearts there for us. Yes. If you're right here live, put some hearts for us. And let me see. I see you, Miss Janet. 
I saw you in here, Janet. I'm trying to get you to go live with me. Let's see how we I'm do it. I'm trying to invite my friend I don't, and, and put the link up for the Facebook also. And yeah. In the Clubhouse has that link. I would so appreciate you put, posting that up. Can you guys hear me okay? Because my big mic said no sound, but I know for sure you should be able to hear me. Can you all hear my voice? If you can hear my voice, please yes. go ahead on and put some hearts up. I'm Renee yes. Noor. We are live right now in the clubhouse. We're live on YouTube as well as um, Instagram. Please let yeah. me know if you guys can hear my voice. I see you, Dr. Shapiro. I see you, Miss Jackie. I Yay. think from clubhouse. Oh, so you can hear me live from clubhouse? That's interesting. So why can't you hear me live right here from Instagram? Okay. Let's see. How about now? Can you hear me live from Instagram? Yes. Okay. Jackie said, yes, she can hear me. Wonderful. Wonderful. So now what I'm going to do, Janet, I'm going to look for you so you can go live with me right here on this amazing platform that's called IG. So let's see where you are, Miss Janet. I'm looking for you. Let's I see. am here. I yes, just invited my friend. Let's definitely say hello to those names that you see that's scrolling on the Instagram. Tanya, you can see some of the names that's right there live with us on YouTube, as well as those that's on Facebook. And while I'm getting everybody to go live with us, I'm looking so forward to, okay, so Janet, you just have to send me a request. And in the meantime, you know what? I'm going to see if we have any other requests that we can go live with. We got Miss Jackie Underwood. There you go. All right, here we go, Dr. Tanji. Wonderful, wonderful. So now we're getting ready to go live. Let's see. There she is. What's up? <laughs> Look, I'm here, and then I'm there, and then I'm here, and then I'm there. I love it. I love it. So, hey, look at Miss Jackie. Hey, Miss Jackie, how are you doing, beautiful? <laughs> So if anybody's in the clubhouse, they just have to turn their volume down right now. Miss Jackie, it's so great seeing you. We're here with the fabulous Miss Janet Alvarado. And then we have more of the fabulous ladies that's going to be joining us. Also, we're trying to get Tanya live with us on YouTube. We're on Clubhouse. We're on YouTube. We're on Facebook as well as Instagram. How do you like that, Miss Jackie? Isn't it fabulous? Okay. Okay. Okay, so I can't hear Miss Jackie as much, but I know she's in the clubhouse, right, Miss Jackie? Right, Miss Jackie. Okay. So what we're working on, Miss Jan is gonna be looking for her special guest, Miss Jackie. Miss Jackie is over there preparing for our closing ceremony for our 31 days of pink. That's right, we're wearing pink for breast cancer and we're looking forward to celeb um, to um, closing out the ceremony right there in Chicago. Miss Jackie, is it cold in Chicago? Please let us know. Can Miss Jackie hear us? Okay, so Miss Jackie is like, she's searching right now, looking for herself. We'll be coming back to Miss Jackie. Let's see if we can also invite the fabulous Miss Tanya. Tanya, are you also on Instagram? Tanya, I don't see you there. <laughs> this is awesome. I'm awesome. in three spots. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it fabulous? So we're live on YouTube. We're live on Instagram. Plus we're live on the Facebook as well as um, Instagram. So I did see an invitation, Tanya, while you're while we're waiting for the beautiful guest, uh, Miss Janet Alvarado. But Miss Janet, tell to us, we were having a conversation right there in the clubhouse. Share with us exactly kind of like where we are today. Today is a special day. It's not only Family Talk Fridays, but why today makes it so special? Please, Janet. Oh, my gosh. Today makes it even more special because my friend Joni is joining us today. And I have, you know, I lost touch with my sweet friend. And that's what I call her, my sweet, sweet friend, Joni Flynn. I met her two years ago, and we were doing lives together on Instagram. We actually got out of our comfort zones started sharing our knowledge, weekly um, Instagram lives we used to do together. 
And then, you know, life got in the way and we kind of went off, ribbed off into our little past. And um, she's a kid. Yeah, that's Joni. Is that Joni? Oh my goodness. Welcome, welcome. Welcome. Yes. Welcome, Joni. Joni, can you hear me? I'm getting a lot of feedback. Yeah, I think well, I think what it is, you're in the clubhouse, right? Um, Joni, are you also in the clubhouse or are you just here on Instagram? Okay, great. And then we have Tanya. Tanya's right here with us live on the YouTube. And Tanya, are you also in the clubhouse? Yes, I'm, I have to go back in. I think I need to go back into clubhouse. I just love it, guys, you know, yeah. because Ty can continue on having the conversations right here while we're live um, on YouTube and Ty could be the anchor there. And then we're here on Instagram and then Janet, you're right there in the clubhouse. And now we have the beautiful Miss Joni. Hey, Miss Joni, how are you doing today, beauty? I'll get the phone. Hold on. Hello. <laughs> Can you guys oh. hear us? Joni, I can barely hear Joni. Now I can hear you a little bit. So Joni, tell us tell us where you are right now, Joni. You're looking fabulous over there with your beautiful pink top. Where are you? Kind state and it's beautiful day. We got a lot of the feedback going on. Hold on. Yeah, a lot of feedback. Hold on. Okay, so I'll turn mine down. I turned mine down too. I can't hear Joni. <laughs> there you go, Renee. Can you hear me? Oh, now we can. So just do this. I muted mine out. Janet, just mute yours. Mute my Instagram? Yes. 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 I did. Okay, so go ahead, Miss so Joni. Ahead. How are you? How are you? I'm doing fabulous. Can you hear me okay? <laughs> technology, guys. It's technology, right? It's challenging at times, isn't it? It sounds like an alarm is going off. We have a couple of two. Yeah, it's the, the devices. So what it is, the devices are too close to each other. So we need to separate the devices. So therefore, we probably don't have the, the feedback. Because we didn't hear the feedback yesterday. I don't know what's happening. Turn on the one in the clubhouse. Okay, hold on, let me see something. Sorry, Joey. That's okay. I'm trying to figure out what it is. Hold on, guys. Okay, Janet. Let's just yes. mute. Can we just mute? Because yours is, is still... Something is definitely happening at that. No? Try leaving. Let's see what happens. Okay, so Club of can hear us. Okay. And if we go on mute, then they won't hear us live on Instagram. But yesterday we didn't have that problem. Do we have another person that have their microphone open in the clubhouse? Okay, so close everybody else's microphone in the clubhouse. Everybody except mine. And then just turn the volume. I'm not sure what's happening. Turn your volume down. It's down. 
Okay. So sorry, guys. We got a little bit of technical difficulties. We're going to get through this, though. Yes, we're going to get through this. Let me see where it is. Because yesterday we had no problem. Just turn your volume down maybe on Instagram. Is it down? So guys, this is what's make life so exciting, okay? And we're going to get through this. Okay. So let's do this, Janet. How about if you leave and then come back in? Okay? Leave and come back in. So guys, we're going to continue on. We're going to make today fabulous. You right now, Tanya, you're looking spectacular. And we're waiting for the one and the only right now. we got Tanya myself here. Let's see if we can get Joni back on. Um, Janet, let's go ahead on and go live with you. Can you guys hear us in the clubhouse? Make sure everybody can hear us in the clubhouse. Can you guys hear us in the clubhouse? Okay, so they can yes. hear us in the clubhouse. Wonderful. All right. We're going to make it work. Good. So now let's go ahead on and let's hear from the fabulous Miss Joni. Let's see if we can get Miss Joni to come back in now. And is she still there? Let's see. Guys, we're going to work through this. This is what technology is all about. And we just love it. Okay. Okay. I'm, okay, I'm, okay. I'm in the back. So if you bring me on and it still goes off, then it's got to be my side somehow. Side somehow. I know it's, um, can you guys hear me okay? Okay. So let's do this, Jenny. It is my mic, but which one I have? Is, is the your microphone in the computer? If I turn it on the computer, then nobody can hear you on this. Okay, perfect. No. Happy Friday, everyone. Happy Friday. I know, right? We are here live on YouTube. So what we're going to do, Janet, let's try this, Janet. How about if you leave from Instagram? Oh. Okay. Okay. So we're live on our YouTube channel as well as we're live on Facebook, plus we're live on Instagram. Now, what has happened, we got a little bit of technical difficulties, but that's okay because we're still fabulous and we're still bold and we are beautiful. So we're going to work this out, okay? We have the fabulous Miss Tanya right there in the DMV area, our dentist hygienist. And how are you doing today, Miss Tanya? I am doing fabulous, Queen Renee. I am yes, so excited about are. this month. This month is really rewarding because we're honoring our breast cancer thrivers. And we're also remembering the ones that have lost their life to breast cancer. So I'm really thrilled to be here because it is such an amazing journey for these women and men that have gone through breast cancer. Absolutely. I could not say it any better than that. Tanya is right now... So right now we're on YouTube, we're on Facebook, as well as we are on our Instagram. And one of the little glitches that we were having, we're gonna bring everybody back online. Um, you know, we are excited that we have one of our breast cancer survivors, our thrivers, that's working alongside with us for today, Miss Jody. And Jody's right there in um, Florida. And you know, Tanya, we've had the opportunity of being able to support ladies all around the globe. And I hope they can hear us right now. Let's go ahead and do a mic check on the clubhouse to make sure that they can hear us there. So you can just go ahead and ask everyone, can they hear us on the clubhouse as well? And so guys, we are excited. Today we are kicking off for our London team. They're gonna be doing the breast cancer survivor um, experience that's gonna be taking place in London. That's right, in London. And we're looking forward to a spectacular experience that's gonna be taking place on tomorrow 
in London. So I know for sure we have Ms. Janet Alvarado that's going to be coming back on live with us, as well as Ms. Jody. We just had to go through a little bit of glitches. I know that Queen, Ms. Deborah Vick, she always knows the right answers because she's our genes where it relates to our technology um, space. But it was wonderful being right there with you guys. You know, Tanya kicking off right there in the DMV area for breast cancer survivors. And oh my goodness. So think about this, Tanya. Who are some of the breast cancer survivors that you would like to go ahead on and say, you know, give us give us their first and their last name and where they reside. And you know, why is it so important for us to pay homage to 31 breast cancer thrivers as well as survivors? I would love to honor Edna Samuel. She is a mother of 10, okay? Oh. And she has got 10. She has seven boys and three girls. And today I'm here to honor her because of her endurance, her strength, and she's able to pour into so many other lives. And she's also encouraging others that are going through chemo, others that are going through radiation at this point. So she's an incredible mother, and I'm super, super excited to have the honor of honoring her this month. I'm Tanya. Please. I love that, Tanya. Tanya is honoring Miss Edna that has 10, 10 beautiful babies. And oh my goodness, just to hear her, um, you know, I didn't get a chance to hear her voice, but she's there in the DMV area. Is that correct, Tanya? When I look forward to making sure that we can celebrate her as well. You know, guys, you just got to love technology right now. And I think we have a one of our other beauties that's on with us. Hey, Miss Deborah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I just love it. <laughs> oh, we're having so much fun. It's Friday, guys. It's only Friday. <laughs> We love you, Deborah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm like, is that Jody? It's Deborah. <laughs> I'm saying Deborah's not Deborah, but yes, Deborah. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Exactly. Oh my goodness. So, you know, I hear you crystal clear now, Janet. That's a wonderful thing. And let's see what we can do with getting you back live. Let's see what happens. Oh, it's oh, it back with us now. Everybody can hear everything. No feedback. No feedback. Yay! Hey, Deborah, Deborah to the rescue. Woo, 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 woo. Thanks, Deborah. <laughs> My pleasure to help out, ladies. All right. So uh -oh. now let's see if we can get the. Yes. 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 I think you're going to leave. Well, you know what? That's what it's about, making things happen, right, guys? Just truly making things happen here. Let's see. Hold on. What happened? I think, Deborah, are you going to exit stage nine? Okay, she exits stage nine. So now you're here. <laughs> and it has just a little bit. So tell us what you had to do. Tell us what you had to do, Janet. To do what? For the feedback a little bit. What did she say to do? Because we're hearing it again. That's why. I yeah, I don't. She mute out my uh, clubhouse. So clubhouse is muted. This is perfect. Right here. Whatever you're doing right here is perfect. And say, I start hearing that again. <laughs> Oh, I know. What is it? Well, you know what? We're going to get through this. You guys can hear me, right? Everybody can hear my voice. Um, Dr. Sean Sapir said he can't hear me, but maybe that was an old text message. That was a... Yes, it's feedback. Okay. Well, now we don't have any feedback. Yes, it's much better. Yeah. So I guess I'm not meant to get on StreamYard right now. <laughs> okay. Well, we have Tanya on the StreamYard. We have you here. And where is Miss Jody? Is Miss Jody online? I know. She's trying to get back in. She okay. said. So. All righty. Well, know. in the meantime, let's say hello to some of those that have already said hello to us. Okay. 
We see you, Dr. Shapiro. We see you, Cheryl L. Our long Cheryl L. Brown. We see you, Miss e um, Kawana. Sorry about that, Kawana. Who else do you see there, Janet? I see Big Mike. Ooh, Big Mike's in the Big house. Mike's in the house. <laughs> Coach Jackie's in the house. Athena, thank you for being here. Dr. Sean is in the house as well. Hello, Dr. Sean. He said he couldn't hear us. But I think he can hear some. Is that Zoe that's also on with us? Hey, guys. Oh, my goodness. We have so many great people. And then also live, we in the clubhouse, we want to say hi to Michael Huey. Michael Huey had a great interview with us yesterday. And, oh, my goodness, looking forward to hearing uh, more from Michael Huey with some great things that we're doing. We got Yolanda right there from the DNV area. You got KP, she's in the house as well. We have Miss V is in the house alongside Dr. Tanji is here with us as well as we have Fashion Beauty, Miss Debbie alongside with Reginald and we have Miss Tanya that's right here with me live on the show. Miss, my goodness. You know, Janet, when you came up with today's subject matter, what you know, talk to us what was really the, the most important thing that you wanted us to talk about with today's subject matter, because Janet just disappeared. So Yolanda, not Yolanda, Tanya, tell us about the subject matter for today. We're talking about toxicity within the house, you know, breast cancer survivors. And sometimes they deal with those loved ones and probably just energy around them that could be calm, causing damage to them internally and also their mindset. So let's talk about what could be some of the things that is causing toxicity within the um, within the home. That's what today's topic is about. Tanya, take it away. Thank you, Queen Renee. It's so, so important that, you know, if you have someone that's going through cancer, okay, whether it be breast cancer, any form of cancer, the toxicity within the home can affect their health. And we're talking about simple things that sometimes we overlook. For example, making sure that we're changing our shower curtains out, okay? Because shower curtains trap bacteria because the water, the bacteria when we shower, it's important that we're changing them out on a frequent basis. The other thing is also to avoid certain type of cookwares, okay? Because we're preparing meals and, you know, from these cookware, they can actually get into the meals that we're preparing for these patients that are going through cancer. The other thing is also making sure that we're replacing or vents, okay? So we're talking about our homes, okay? So we were earlier we were talking about the homes that were built in 1978. So we're talking about the different types of lead that are actually in those homes. So the lead actually affects their health. So simple things that look simple within our home can affect patients that are going through chemo or radiation. It's really, really important that we do an inventory of what's happening within our home, especially when we have patients that are going through chemo and radiation. I'm Tanya and I'm complete. I truly love that. You know, you know, we talked about the detox of the inventory in our homes. You know, we always talk about also inventory just in our lives, even with people, because sometimes people can also um, cause toxicity as well. And so we want to make sure that we're making sure that we're burning sage everywhere, guys. You got to start burning more sage. That's what I'm going to say. Burn more sage so therefore we can get some of those negative energies from within our space. Is that right, Janet? Would you agree? That's right. Can you hear me? Oh, we can hear you, Crystal Clear Beauty. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I know it's been a, I said I know it's been a moment, but Yolanda, I'm I call Yolanda. Tanya, we got all these beautiful names. She was just sharing with us some of the tips in regard to how we can be very proactive in helping to provide a safe environment for our cancer survivors, at, um, whether they're at home. And then also wanting to do certain things of inventory of energy, people, let's not forget people, as well as there certain things that just not really providing good energy. Because we have to understand that energy is everything. Um, especially for, uh, she also mentioned about radiation treatment, I mean, radiation, like microwaves. We don't realize how much damage the microwave cause. Is that right, guys? That's right. Yes. Go ahead, Janet. Talk to us about it. I wanted to say, uh, Frazier, thank you for being here. Frazier 60B, 
baby, he had a mild kidney cancer. Mm. I had never heard of kidney cancer before. And wow, um, I would love to know if you could join us on a live, Frazier. Tell us a little story about your kidney cancer and what that was and uh, the outcome and what your doctor said. Because my friend Joni, I wish she was here. Uh, she uh, was um, got diagnosed with cancer at a young age. She was in her early 30s um, when she got diagnosed with breast cancer. And the doctor said that it was from environmental, had environmental toxins in, mm. her, in, in our environment. Oh, wow. So she became an advocate and started studying uh, the environmental hazards, not just in outside our house, mm -hmm. but inside as well. And what we put on our bodies. Yes. Like our makeup, our lotions, our deodorants, our toothbrushes, you know. When you, and it got a little scary when uh, she told me her story because I didn't realize all the toxins that we were surrounded by. Right. Well, you know what I want us to do? Yes, I was going to say, I'm going to see if she's able to join us again. And if she's not able to join us, and that's Ms. her name is Miss Jody. Um, Joni. Joni, right? Miss Joni. I do not Joni see Miss Joni's name. I don't see it. I do not see Miss Joni's name, but I will say this for those who would like to go live with us. If not, we're going to go right back into the stream yard because in the stream yard, we can have that fabulous space right alongside here with Miss Tanya and I, and then we could really do a deep dive in that area. What One of the greatest things we want to make sure Miss Joni know that we see you, we care for you, and we really do love you. We're going to give you hugs like this for now until we can actually have you in our arms but know that we saw you you were looking so radiant in that pink you were definitely shining bright as they say like a diamond and you truly you are and i know it's not just about an occasion it's not about an event but this is a lifetime a lifestyle for our breast cancer thrivers this is a part of their everyday journal journal as well as journey and so we can learn from them, everyone. We can truly learn from some of the ways of us to do early prevention steps because we know according to statistics, and I say that again, statistics, one in every eight women will be diagnosed with breast cancer. And already 2.8 million, 2.8 million have already gone through breast cancer as it stands right now. So we have to do our part, not only being proactive, celebrating but learning from each other right learning from each other that educational piece is so important so please make sure you follow back up with the gw3 club and that's gw3globalclub.com gw3globalclub.com follow up with us we want to hear from you we want to learn more from you and we would love to celebrate those who also are thrivers with breast cancer we want to make sure we bring your names to the forefront with as much light as possible. Um, some of the things I know we've been doing as a group, guys, we've been eating differently. We have changed our eating diets. And I don't even like that word diet, guys. It's all about a lifestyle, right? It's about a lifestyle. Can somebody hashtag GW3 new lifestyle? That's right. GW3 new lifestyle because it's just that it's about a lifestyle and how we do anything is how we should do everything. So we're moving three things out of your diet. That's right. Three, three things from your regimen. What are going to be the three things that you're going to be removing? Janet, three things that you're going to be removing starting Sugar. October 15th. Sugar. Sugar. Uh, processed foods. Processed foods. And red meat and red meats that's really good okay so with those three things that you're going to remove what are the three things that you're going to add more greens more greens more fruits more fruit i love that <laughs> like my oranges like yes. my oranges and the, i eat all my apples before my oranges <laughs> <laughs> and and try new fruits you know there's a star fruit oh yeah I've never tried a star fruit you know, when you go to the farmer's market, that's the best way to find fruit. Oh, my goodness. 
because there's so many different fruits. And when you go around the globe, Tanya, you know this, especially Jamaica. Oh my goodness. I know, Russia did it just like that. She went, yes, Jamaica have like the best fruit. Jamaica have the best fruit. It's so healthy and it definitely can help with your longevity because that's what we're talking about, longevity. So we talk about Jamaica, Africa. We want to even talk about some great um, habits that you're having, Tanya. I'll talk about my great habits. For those who are watching us live right now on Instagram, join us right back into the clubhouse. That's where we're going to return. Or make sure you can watch us on our YouTube or we're right there as well on um, Facebook. So currently right now we're on Instagram, Facebook, um, YouTube, right there also in the clubhouse. And so what we're going to do, Miss Joni, we wanted to make sure we gave you the opportunity to definitely have some spotlight shine on you. Um, Miss Janet, why don't you go ahead on and just share a little bit about Miss Jody, And then what we're going to do, we're going to return back onto the YouTube and then into the clubhouse. Janet, take yes, it away. Yes, thank you, Renee. Yes. Thank you so much. And yes, I wish Johnny was back up here and so she could share her phenomenal, phenomenal story and learn so much from her because I learned so much from her by just sharing her story and her journey and what she went through. So uh, definitely it's so important to share our stories because it can help somebody else. And so I thank Joni for sharing her story with me two years ago because it, it gave me the awareness of what I was putting on my body and in my home. Yes. So uh, get rid of the plugins, no plugins, and watch those candles. If they're not soy candles, get rid of them, okay? <laughs> oh, you said get rid of the plug-in candles. Guys, listen, getting rid of the plug-in candles. And one of the most probably habits that we do, we take the bed, we take the phones to bed with us, guys. Let's start letting those phones go. Release the phones because all of that, again, is radiology, ra radiation. And we got to start reducing the radiation. Um, we got to talk about that. We're going to talk about that on our YouTube. We're going to talk about that in the clubhouse. And then, guys, we have some extra gadgets that truly can help you in how to go and detect in your home the frequency and how much radiation that you have in your home. How much radiation you have in your home. I remember when I was there in London for 30 days, they had no microwave, not one microwave at all, guys. And so unfortunately, we're just frying up everything in that microwave, but it's also taking the hold of us as well. So if you want to talk more about this conversation, join us in our uh in the clubhouse. Join us also on the YouTube or right there on the Facebook. Janet, this has been wonderful. Spending quality time right here on our Instagram. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. And what we're going to do is say hello and also say goodbye on our Instagram while we continue on our conversation right here in the YouTube with Miss Tanya with her fabulous self. Now, Miss Tanya is going to talk about some great tips as well, Janet, because Tanya is from Jamaica. So take it away, Miss Tanya. Bye for now, YouTube. I mean, Instagram. Bye for now, Instagram. Bye. <laughs> So some of the health tips that I've been incorporating in my lifestyle is more water, staying more active, and also eliminating the sugar, okay? So if I need something a little bit sweet, I'll get it from my fruits, okay? So if I need something sweet, I'll get it from grapes, strawberries, or some other natural products. When it comes to fruits, you can fill up so much on fruits. If you have a lot of pineapples, strawberries, berries, you can just have a whole bowl of those. And it actually fills you up like a meal. So it'll take you from the carbohydrates, okay? It'll take you from the red meat because studies have shown that red meat, the intake of red meat will lead to diabetes, okay? So we have to eliminate the amount of red meat that we're taking in, okay? And we also can substitute it with so many other options. We can do some fish, salmon, we can do more veggies. So we can use everything that we eat in life. There's a healthier substitute. So that's what I've been doing, just eliminating the amount of carbohydrates, eliminating the amount of sugar, and drinking more water. Okay, I'm Tanya, and I'm complete. I love that. Great coiners right there, Tanya. Absolutely great. You know, one of the, um, I love what you talked about water. 
Because I don't want water to be something that we don't do enough of, guys. You know, where it relates to, especially women, we have so much water. We're made of water. And they say the more water we drink, the more we can flush the toxins out of our system, the more radiant we can glow, you know, the more energy we have, as well as, you know, it helps us to lubricate some of those joints. And we don't even think about that. But water can help in that area. I want to say this. This is a true testament, okay? Since I've been doing collagen, as well as I've been working alongside with those enzymes, thanks to Dandy with the collagen, and thanks to Dr. Bond with the whole enzyme therapy, guys, I have movement in my joints. I used to stand up, and you can hear my bones crack. How many of you guys have heard your bones crack when you stand up, okay? <laughs> Not anymore. And I want to say this also, thanks to Dr. Tanji, as well as Coach Jackie, because what's been happening, too, with those regiments, guys, just because we stopped the 21 don't mean you needed to stop working out. We continued on working out with some type of reg regimen because you want to do something every day. Working out is really good every day, whether you're walking 10,000 steps, whether you are doing some type of um, strength training, whether you're doing yoga, I mean, there's so many different things that we should be doing. And some of us are not doing that. So that's something that's going to help because we know 25%, they say 25% of the women who have a regular active, have regular activities, they're um, likely to not have cancer. They're likely not to have breast cancer because they stay active. So you got to keep that body moving keeping that body in flow. Come on, Janet, you know about that. I saw you over there doing those dance moves when Dr. Tanji had us doing that um, Zumba. Zumba was so much fun with Dr. Tanji and the GW3 Club Society. It was so much fun doing that challenge. And, you know, having accountability and doing it together and, you know, keep reminding each other so it's so important to connect with community, especially when you're going through a journey of change. You want to connect with people who are also going on that journey because we collaborate together, we encourage each other, and we soar together. And together, everything's possible, right? Absolutely. <laughs> okay. And my friend Joni, I just wanted to share this real quick. She posted on her i. Instagram feed today. Uh, her story actually of when she got diagnosed with cancer uh, when she was younger and um, how it came out that she it was the environmental uh, that would that caused the cancer. So she said there's 90 to 95 percent cancer can be prevented by just knowing and getting rid of the chemicals in your, not just in your home, in your environment, but in your body and on your skin. Do you know that our clothes, when we go and buy new clothes, cause we have fast fashion and a lot of this fast fashion, they put so much chemicals in the fabrics so to stretch them out so it's like they are able to make more clothes so be careful always wash your clothes when you get home read the read the um care label but always wash your clothes because they not just the chemicals can touch your skin but also we got to be aware of the parasites on these uh fabrics because these fabrics come from uh, all over the world, across the world, and sometimes in packaging and the the um, you know the stages of them getting to the United States or to the stores, uh, parasites are uh, able to get in. So I've heard a lot of stories about that. So be careful. Always wash your clothes when you get new clothes. Thank you. <laughs> That is so powerful. And I know that was a great tip right there because think about this. Sometimes when you're in a rush, guys, what do you wind up doing? If you go and buy some clothes, you just put it on and you don't even think about that at all. Right. So that was a great tip, Janet. Truly, that was a great tip. And, you know, think, you know, just just being more proactive in what are ways that we can be able to take that extra step to be 
able to have early prevention because that's what we're talking about here. You know, we've had so many great stories from Cheryl L. Brown, who was able to share her her, her story as a three-time breast cancer survivor. In addition to that, we had Ms. Deja right there from Hawaii that was also able to share her story. Um, she's a glamour, you know, we love saying that, glamour. And then in addition to that, you know, Tanya talks about Ms. Edna. You also had Ms. Jody. I mean, the list just goes on and on. We got Elena Perez. I mean, the names, even Richard Roundtree. We talked about Richard Roundtree, our um, amazing alumni with Ebony Fashion Fair. You know, great, great ways of us helping to help others to have early preventions. And that's what we talk about. So therefore we can educate others in this space. Um, you know, let's talk about the foods. I'm going back over there to tell you with the food over there in Jamaica, girl. I mean, there's like at least 10 different things when I was in Jamaica that they shared with me. And think about this also, Jamaica, how many people have breast cancer? Not that many, nope. not that many. Not only do you guys eat healthy, you truly are very active. You know, what are some, at least the three different things that you would recommend in regard to just, you know, ways of a natural eating? I know I got my three, hopefully you don't say my three, but what are three things that you enjoy eating from your hometown? Share yes, this time. Yes, there's so many things. And you're right, Queen Renee, when you look at the longevity of a grandma in Jamaica, for example, my grandma right now, I can call her and she's 97 and she's so alert. She can tell me what each grandchild brought to her, who called her. But I looked at my grandma's diet, okay? She drinks um, cinnamon, cinnamon tea all her life. She drinks um, ginger all the time. So what we do, we, we eat and we drink from what we plant, natural things, okay? So we reduce the amount of microwave, um, usages. So we're using the stove or outdoor fires, okay, to cook naturally. But what we do, we eat from grown products. So we always honor our farmers because it's because of our farmers, that's why we are healthy. So just diving into natural products, even here in the U.S., you can dive into it. When you get to the grocery store, you want to stay in the fruit and vegetable section. You want to stay, as Queen Jeanette mentioned earlier, she's going to reduce the amount of processed food. So we want to eat our natural foods, for example, cooking, just cooking, the basic stuff, but just reduce the processed food. And that's what we really do. At the same time, we also try to stay active because one, a lot of people don't have, own a transportation, right? So to get from point A to point B, you've got to walk, okay? And Queen Renee mentioned it earlier, walking is such a great exercise. Just going through the trails or just walking, walking for 20 minutes, it's amazing, so that's one of the healthier habits that we exercise back home. I'm Tanya. Absolutely. I'm I love it. I love it. I love it. Woo, 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 woo. Yes. I love it. Oh, my God. That's awesome. You know, I got to add to this, though. Sea moss. Now, sea moss was one of those new ingredients that I added to my diet. And I'll say this, for those who do not have sea moss in their homes, that's going to be what we're going to start adding as of October 15th. Sea moss, sea moss, sea moss, sea moss, sea moss, sea moss. I said that many times, guys. That has over 92 different ingredients. That is nutrients, nutrients. 92 different nutrients. You could take some sea moss and put it on your face. You could take some sea moss and put it in your coffee. Put sea moss in everything. So sea moss. That's right, sea moss. The other one is talk to me about that sarasap. Is that how you pronounce it? Yes, sour soap is amazing. Don't it's you be letting everybody yes. let them <laughs> let them come on. I don't know. You Talk were really, me. you were really enjoying Jamaica. Oh, yeah. Um, sour soap is an amazing fruit. You can eat it yes. naturally from the from the tree itself, and you can also juice it, make it into a juice. The yeah. other great product is aloe vera, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, we use aloe vera extensively from using it to even washing your hair as a natural product to yes. the point where you can drink it. And even for patients that have pre-existing condition, for example, high blood pressure, aloe vera is amazing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we just, it, aloe vera has gone to another level. You can just buy it from the store and drink it. So it's that's another great product, aloe vera. Yeah. And you know what I noticed too? We, we don't think about this um, alkaline water, okay? 
alkaline water, making sure you put at least lemon in your water or lime in your water. Learn from Dr. Juanita Bonds. If you just drink a whole lot of bottles of water, all it's gonna do is go straight through your system. But once you start putting uh, either the lemon, the lime, or even pineapple, I like putting pineapple in my water as well. You know, some way to get it where now you have it uh, diffused with um, a lot of people like using cucumbers. Don't, don't sleep on the cucumbers because I do like using the cucumbers as well. You know, and oranges, orange slices. If you haven't done the orange slices with strawberries and blueberries, oh my God, you can make your water so pretty and it'll be so healthy for you. Guys, we got to turn it up. We got to turn this vibration up for us living a healthier life. And with that, you know, that's a wonderful way for you to drink detox water. Detox water, alkaline water, just make sure you're not drinking plain water. And I truly, does. I don't like drinking bottled water. Do not like drinking bottled water. Bottled water is so not healthy for you. Sometimes they have bottled waters that's been on the shelves forever, forever. And know this, guys, everything has an expiration date. It has an expiration date. So since it has an expiration date, just like we all have an expiration date, check out what the expiration date is. When you start looking at everything you purchase, go look at the expiration date. Because I guess, I promise you this, guys, some things have already expired while in the store. Right. They don't know everything. You know, we got mistakes that happen. But truly, you want to start looking at expiration dates on those bottles. What do you think about that, Miss Janet? That's right. Being proactive. We got to be proactive when it comes to our health and what we bring into our homes and what we bring into our bodies. So you made a great point, uh, Tanya, about your sweet, sweet grandma. How sweet is that? You are so lucky and blessed to have her still. Um, but in Mexico, we do something similar. You know, over there in Mexico, we're eating all the time, but it's all natural foods. The chickens in the backyard, <laughs> the eggs, you know, taking it back the old ways, the old ways. It, and a lot of times, I think that's where our society is going little by little. We're going back to our old ways, raising our own food, um, raising our own cattle, raising our own animals, our own foods, uh, making our own butters and creams and things like that out of nature. Mm. That's a, so, you know, we have to stop, we have to wake, wake up and think about what it is that we're putting on our bodies. Because in Mexico, in the small towns in Mexico, like in Jamaica, there's no such thing as cancer. <laughs> you don't hear breast cancer, nothing, nothing like that. So I I definitely see, and then and then also the San Gennaro's, um the San Gen is it the San Gen Gennaro people, the ones in Italy. Uh, there's some in California, there's mm -hmm. some in Chile, that they live to be over 100 years old. And yeah. why? Because they have community, they have all, they eat all natural, they don't use lotions and potions like we do here. <laughs> and so they're more natural. And, and that's, a, and that, that goes to see, that just shows us that what we have in our stores aren't as healthy as everybody thinks. So we gotta be careful. And also you mentioned about when we do go shopping, make sure we shop around the store, not in the middle. Because around you have all the fruits, the milks, the dairies, the eggs and stuff. And then in the middle is all the processed candies, boxes. <laughs> and you don't want those. Stay away from the middle, but be more uh, aware of the outside of the groceries, uh, the walls of the grocery stores. So oh. thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you. You're absolutely correct. You know, no canned foods, guys. Don't bring any processed foods home. You know, it's so crazy. We always think about, and well, you know, in hurricane weather, they always say stock up on the canned foods, stock up on the canned foods. And during the whole pandemic, Mm -hmm. I didn't stock up on canned foods. I did not stock up on any canned food at all. But what I did have to do, because the grocery store still was open, I had to go to the grocery store every week to get fresh produce. 
produce. And that's the great part about it, guys. What you are eating, if it doesn't have an expiration date where it, it dies pretty much in life expectancy is within a week, you got to start wondering, what is it that I'm putting into my body? What is it that I'm really putting into my body? Remember, they showed you McDonald's French fries. You can have McDonald's French fries three weeks from today. Stand in your house. Don't get any mildew. Don't get any mold on it. It's like, wait, hold on. And this is supposed to be a potato? A potato will turn brown on you in a couple of days. But you have a French fry that doesn't do anything. You guys got to be really, really careful with that. So, you know, certain foods that we know we removed out of our diets, I'll tell you the three. Milk. We do not drink any milk. If I'm drinking milk, it's going to be almond milk. Even when, you know, it's so funny because I like drinking my coffee black with no sugar. That's right. I've been drinking my coffee black with no sugar as well as my teas with no sugar. I don't even do honey. It's crazy, but that's how I am. I've just been able to stomach it without anything, but I like to taste the flavored um, coffees. But other than that, I don't put any extra sweeteners or any extra sugars in it at all. That's one of the things. So again, no milk, no milk, because milk, especially milk that's from a cow, we're not supposed to be consuming it in the first place. And as youth, we used to consume that milk at school. Remember guys? So start taking that out of your diet. My mother, my grandmother lived up until 98 years young. And my, gr my dad lived until he was 84. So yeah, so that's automatically gives me some hope, right? It gives me some hope. As long as you eat right, as long as you stay active and you do the right thing, keep feeding your brains with the right information, the right nutrients, you can help prevent yourself from aging too fast. And just like how Miss Jackie talks about aging gracefully, I absolutely love what she's doing with that aging gracefully because it really gives us the insight of how we can look fabulous like Miss Jackie at 63 years of age, right guys? Oh my God. Mm. She talks about the water. She is on getting her exercise, that mid area. And I say this guys, if your waistline for ladies as well as men, if your waistline is over 42 inches, I said at 42 inches, you truly got to check up on that because that's where a lot of bacteria, that's where a lot of diseases are in our guts, in our guts. I would say this also, ladies, if we can get those waistlines down to at least 32 and smaller, that's the key right there. Okay. I'm on a mission. That's right. A mission. And I'm going to show you guys the picture. I don't have a problem showing you the picture. I'm on a mission, mission to get back to my slender size. And it's not so much that I'm, I'm all about being vain or anything like that. I was just healthier during that time. I had more energy. I was able to just slip onto anything. And I felt better also about myself, guys. And that's the key. If you go to my Instagram page, it's the picture that's up. It says new you. That's right. That picture that is my new you picture. Guys, if those shoes could talk that day, oh my goodness, okay? <laughs> because girlfriend was going through some craziness that day. However, however, she was able to pull it together. Um, I was crying that day, girls. I was having the worst day possible. And my girlfriend had to like slap me like, do you know who you are? Do you guys have girlfriends like that? Do you know who you are? You're Renee Moore, <laughs> get it together. I'm like, okay, all right. Oh my goodness, guys, literally, they transformed me right before that event started. And I'm so grateful for each and every last one of them still till today. But that size right there, that's the size we're going for. And we're going all in. So in January, when we will be in Dubai, darling, I will have my new look. Mm, that's right. <laughs> And you're going to do it, Renee. You're going to do it. I know you are. Yes. Wow. So we what, got your goals, Ms. what is your goal, Miss Janet? What, what's your new look going to look like? What's your new goals for um, 2023? <laughs> oh, Renee. Oh, my God. With Dr. Tangi and Dr. Jackie in the house uh, with nutrition and fitness. Oh, my gosh. GW3 is going to be fit and strong. And my goal is to get strong. And I've been working on my weights, uh, weight training, because the older we get, we lose muscle mass. Wiser, wiser, we don't get older. No, the wiser we wiser. get. <laughs> that's right, that's right. The wiser we get, 
we start losing muscle mass. So it's so important to get those weights, start lifting those weights up and strengthening our bodies. Because I definitely see my mom and my the uh, my older family, the older generation, the wiser yeah. generation, and um, they lacked exercise like that, weight training. So I I uh, see that as very important as well. So definitely yeah. that's my goal for next this next year. <laughs> I love it. We got the doctor in the house. We have Dr. Juanita Bond. She says hi, ladies. Hello. We know the ladies are going to be with us back in Atlanta on October 22nd as we continue on with our 31 days of why we wear pink. And yeah, we got a little pink on today. Everybody have their pink. And of course, we did it with the orange. That's um, Janice's regular color with the orange. So, orange Tanya, and pink. go ahead on. Yes, go ahead. Take it away, Tanya. I think go she's muted. for 2023. What, as it regards to exercise, as Janet says, more weight training. Because as women, as we get more gracefully, as we mature, we lose bone mass. So I'm going to really dive into those weight training. Thanks to Dr. Jackie and Dr. Tanji for their guidance, because I'm going to hit it hard. Thank you. Yes. We have Ms. V. Congratulations, Tanya. I'm so proud of you. Wait, I want to say this, because Tanya did the 75 hard when we did it the first time. And baby, I was like, look at her go. She's a runner. And I love it. You know how Tanya, she loves working out. Yes. She smiles while she's working out. She's so happy. And I just thought that was such a wonderful gift that Tanya has. And so Tanya, we're going to be ready to do that 75 hard again come November. But before we do that, we're going to be doing our 15 day, I mean, our 14 day challenge, taking three things out of our diets or our regimen and then adding three more healthier um, items. So therefore we could just start building back up that better regimen, whether it's working out more, whether it's walking more, you know, the hardest thing they always say in the winter time to start working out is always a little bit more challenging, but keep this in mind. What did Dr. Tanja show us? We don't even have to go to the gym to work out. You can work out right in your home. So there's no excuses for you having to go to the gym. And I know I haven't spent not one dime on a gym, uh, what is this, gym subscription in years, in years, because I do it right from home or definitely right at my place. So I just love that. Yes. And you could use, and you could work out real easy, like even starting the uh, push-ups up against the wall, standing there and doing push-ups up against the wall, up against the counter when you're brushing your teeth in the bathroom do some push-ups right there up against the counter do lift up your feet do some uh for your calves mm -hmm. lift up your feet and uh do some calf work so you there's no excuse for not moving that body exercising turn up turn up your favorite song and just start dancing around the house like nobody's watching and who cares <laughs> I that love blood it. flowing <laughs> That's right. Get that body moving, getting flow, and let's go and live our life. Let's stop existing. We want to live our best life, bolder, better, and even more finer than ever. Oh, yes, I'm ready for that. Have fun, yes. Yes, so ready for that. Well, I know, Miss Janet, you have such an amazing program for Family Talk Fridays. Thank you for giving me the opportunity of joining you guys this week. It has been so much fun. Oh my goodness. So I'm giving you guys big hugs. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I cannot wait to see your next guest for next week. I know you usually have Miss Yolanda alongside with Miss Tanya. And who else are usually with your amazing guests that you have? Your co Yolanda and Dr. Sheila. Oh my goodness. Yolanda, the artist and Dr. Sheila, the author. She works with young boys and educating families on uh, literacy. So I love, love, love. And you know, next week, unfortunately, we couldn't talk to Joni this week, but we are going to have her on before the end of the month. Okay. We have Yay! sorry. <laughs> so I wanna before we go, I want us to take a picture real quick. So say cheese. Cheese. 
<laughs> you have three in the house. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Oh. Uh, Renee, thank you so much for coming and co-hosting with us today. Uh, it was it's always such a pleasure to have you here in the house, oh, like thank always. So thank you everyone for joining us uh, today on G, uh, in our Global Women Wealth Warrior uh, Society. We hope you received a lot of value from today's segment. Uh, check out our other segments. We have plenty of educational segments uh, out there. Everybody's learning. We're sharing because sharing is caring. And we hope you come and stick around. We thank Renee. We thank Tanya for joining us today. And for a little bit on IG, we thank everyone there for coming. <laughs> Tanya, thank you so much. Oh, my goodness. I, I wanted to say, too, I love the orange and the pink earrings and your necklace. So thank you so much. Thank you that. so much, Janet. <laughs> thank you. This was absolutely amazing segment. I enjoyed every bit. And it's also always an honor to be a part of Family Talk Friday. We have so much fun here at Family yes. Talk not just Family Talk Friday, but GW3, period. We have our Praying It Forward morning where we start where we start our day empowered with just the word of uh, and our faith. So thank you, Tanya, so much. Uh, we are going to head now to uh, Clubhouse. Uh, before we close off in Clubhouse, we hope you join us next week on Family Talk Friday. Thank you, everyone. Woo-woo. <laughs> and now we...